All right, so in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to build a data table so that you can um, test what happens as you sensitize a certain input, what happens to, in our example, the return metrics here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sensitize the purchase price. So we're going to plug in different purchase prices, and we're going to see the impacts of what happens when you change to a different value without having to manually come in here and type and then go and record what the number is each time you change the value manually. With um, data tables, you can do it all at one time and see what happens without having to go in and manually change anything. So I'll show you how to do that. It's really straightforward. So here we have our very rudimentary uh, pro forma. We have our purchase price, which is an independent variable. So I've manually put that number in. We have our return metrics that are coming from our cash flow. And then we have our cash flow here that's built out. So the first step we're gonna take here is along the top, anything that we wanna see, the cells we wanna see the results from are gonna come along the top here. So here we have the IRR and we have the equity multiple. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna to link to the root source of the IRR, to the root source of the equity multiple. And then on the on the left hand column, this is where we're going to sensitize the purchase price. So, in this example, let's put our one million dollars here, and let's increase and decrease by a hundred thousand. So, what we're basically saying is, we want to see what happens to our IRR and our equity multiple when we increase and decrease the purchase price by 100,000 in each direction. And so we have our independent variable that we're testing here on the left and we have across the top the return metrics. All right, so the next step is you wanna highlight the entire area that the data table is gonna go. So the far left, we have our purchase price and then at the top, we have our return metrics. And so, you know, you don't want to, you can't do anything like this or this. You just want to make sure that um, the data that you're testing is along the border. The cells are along the border. So once you have the, the spot highlighted where you want to have your data table, you come up into data. You come to what if analysis, data table, and it gives you two options. You can do a row input cell or a column input cell. And so the question is, what is the input that I'm testing? Well, the input is the purchase price. And so the purchase price sensitivity is on the left here, or it's in a column. Now, if it was on the top, it would be in a row. So here we know that the purchase price cell or cell B6 is, is the input. So the column input cell is the purchase price. Now, again, if the if the purchase prices were running along the top of our box here, it would be a row input cell. So I hope that, that clarifies that. So now we'll click OK. And there you have it. And so now you can see um, what happens to the IRR and equity multiple with different purchase prices without having to come in and manually change the price here and then record it individually. You can just see it all right away with data tables. So I hope that was helpful.